The eighth day of the third trial for A.J. Armstrong Jr. Prosecutors have charged him with the murder of his parents, Don and Antonio Armstrong Sr. There are no cameras allowed inside the courtroom, but our team of journalists are continuing our in-depth coverage that we are calling The Bench. KPRC2's Real One Belogan is on that team, and he joins us now live in Real One. The DNA found on the back of Houston Police visitor badge was brought up again today. Why was that brought up again? Yeah, Daniela, it was brought up because the two former prosecutors originally in the 2019 case testified to how they handled the bloody pillows in the home that night and the t-shirt AJ was wearing the night he was interviewed. Now, former prosecutor Lester Blizzard testified while on the stand that he sort of scrunched the shirt AJ wore while he was interviewed by pro uh, investigators that night, sort of like this after handling those bloody pillows. Now, this is a big issue for the defense team because they're really concerned and curious as to how those two specks of blood got underneath the name tag itself. So that's why it was a big, it was brought up again today. Now, to talk about what just wrapped up inside the courtroom here moments ago, on the stand today was Homicide Sergeant Kenneth Dagnall, who was questioned by both prosecutors and defense he is the same person who interviewed AJ after the murders. Now, Dagnall testified he did not believe AJ was being truthful during that interview. Prosecutors also asked who out of everyone in the home at the time of the murders could have committed the killings. Killings. He he asked about Don, Antonio Sr., Kira, that's the sister, and AJ. Now, the sergeant said AJ. Now, during cross-examination, DeToto asked if the, pro if the sergeant ever looked at any new evidence and he responded HPD went where the evidence took them also adding that they didn't ask for any surveillance video from neighbors referring to that same line he said they only went to where the evidence took them now we expect prosecutors to have one more witness that they will have take the stand tomorrow before they rest their case then the case is in the hand hands of the defense team. Now, all of this will resume tomorrow morning at 830 and we will be there. We're voting live from downtown Houston. Roman Belogan, KPRC 2 News. Real one, thank you. And we have a special section on click2houston.com to help you understand all the ins and the outs of this trial. Just search anatomy of a trial on click2houston.com.